going on on YouTube. Two LSX 44 blocks. Uh, it's one of the probably five or six LSX 44s I've done. So, I'm just going to walk through you guys some of the concerns and little updates I've found with these. Uh, this one's ready to go. I'm getting in the middle of bolting this one up together. So, LSI for the fours. I like running the Mass Motorsports oil pans on these. Obviously, with the bigger stroke on these ones, you need the clearance, which these pans provide. Um, I've been using them for years, so works good. Um, on the LSI for the four. LS3s, I like to use the Holly, which is on actually this one here. So this is actually Holly set up. But bigger stroke, LS644, even you got a stroke remote or whatever, that pan's great. This one I have finished up. So we're just gonna need the coil packs um, and hat headers here. We have the Holly mounts that's gonna go on here, adapter mounts. I use that on here. They're tried and true. So work great. Fit in the Chevelle's perfect. Now this is a Wagner Motorsports. It's the Waco 33 kit. Um, this one has a upgraded alternator, 220 amp alternator. Reservoir mounted, you can get them without the reservoir mounted, and they come with the ATI adapter. SD7 AC compressor, which I always highly recommend. If you have an SD5, I try to update to SD7. So one of the things I came across on doing these LSX blocks in general, the B15s, 376, the 454s, uh, first one is oil cap. This is an old design. Uh, they've been coming to my attention, they've been starting to leak. So they don't have the support in here in the middle, which Within time, look at how loose this is. Will start to leak. The updated design that GM has this is the a newer one. Have a bow tie. If you have a bow tie, you have the updated one. See the cross hatch in the middle gives it the support. Helps it seal better versus the old design. So. Old design, new design. So you said if you have a this cap, old design, new design. So if you do have that, you can pick this one up. Um, GM Performance, uh, even Amazon has it. I'll put the part number in my description, but they fit a lot tighter. So that is one of the concerns that brought to my attention. Um, next one I would say is rear main cover on the LSX block. They use an O-ring style. This O-ring style gasket goes all the way around to the bottom. Obviously comes up back over here on this side. These have been known to start leaking. So. Prior to installation, I'd highly recommend removing this off and applying some, I, I, I use GM sealant, so um, sealant around the whole thing, don't even go crazy with it, and install it back. So those are things I would do, which this one is going to get, um, obviously here's my sealant here for the back corners on the oil pans, but this is going to come off and We'll apply that too. Um, they do have a special tool to install the rear cover. Um, it's obviously very crucial that these two are flush. Um, one way of doing it is 
putting this rear cover on and sinking it with these bottom ones so it brings it down and then torquing your top ones. But yeah, that's pretty much it with those two concerns I've had with these blocks. Other than that, they're great engines. Can't beat the horsepower they give you for uh, what you're paying for them. This one does have the uh, fast LSX HR intake. I haven't ran one yet on one of these, so I um, can't wait to actually see what this one's going to do. Uh, last LSX 44 I did with the uh, Holly High Ram intake. Um, obviously, long tube headers on it. 4 85 373 gears in a Chevelle. Did right under 560 at the wheels. So, really great numbers. Well, I went ahead and assembled this one. Got the oil pan on, torque down, wedge trays in, oil filter. These run the PF46. Waco front accessories all on. All the bolts I apply, blue Loctite, torque them all down. Uh, I did paint the water pump, some uh, high temp black paint. They don't come painted. <clears throat> I did on that one too. Kind of flows a little better. So, well, just waiting for the Holly High Ram intake for this one. And then, uh, I think I'll probably end up putting a video up for you guys once I get this off the stand on uh, resealing that like I was talking about earlier in the video. So uh, I'll probably put a video up of uh, just doing that to actually both of them. But yeah man, that's about it on this one. So stay tuned for uh, more bills coming on their way. And so we got this one I did too. So LS3 used to be LS L99, so I converted over to LS3. Uh, L99s all come with a 6L80 automatic behind them, um, but obviously L99s have a, a DOD <clears throat> fuel management and stuff like that, so that gets deleted out. Um, I might cover that in another video. So let me know what you guys want to see. I'll try to post up what I can. <clears throat> But till next time, stay tuned, man. Thanks.